So if you're an earth moving contractor, you're probably pretty familiar with using a GPS rover setup for performing site surveys. And to do that, you really need three things. You need a base station for calculating your GPS corrections. You need a radio on that base station to broadcast those corrections to your rover. And you need your rover. And with the rover setup, you usually need to hold that pole perfectly plumb to make sure that you're getting the exact right spots. And you need to do all of this in an area where you're getting unobstructed GPS signal. However, Trimble says rover surveys don't have to be that complicated anymore thanks to a duo of new products. What's going on everyone? I'm Wayne Grayson and you're watching Equipment World where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, and trucks. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Trimble SPS 986, a new GNSS rover that receives its corrections via satellite from Trimble Centerpoint RTX system of global base stations. Let's get into it. Now, as we were saying, really the big key feature with the SPS 986 GNSS rover is that it receives its corrections via satellite and it receives those corrections using Trimble's Centerpoint RTX network. Now, Centerpoint RTX is a subscription-based service that is kind of powered by all of these base stations that Trimble has set up all over the world and then created a network using those base stations. Trimble uses that network of base stations to triangulate extremely accurate satellite positioning signals, and then it broadcasts those signals to GNSS rovers like the SPS 986 anywhere in the world, as long as those rovers and the SPS 986 86 is among these have Trimble's smart antenna on board. Trimble tells us that while the technology and the network behind Centerpoint RTX have been around for a while, it just recently became accurate enough to fully replace radio broadcasting of GPS signals in surveying. Trimble says Centerpoint RTX now offers less than two centimeters of accuracy in the horizontal plane and less than five centimeters of accuracy in the vertical plane. In fact, when you pair Centerpoint RTX with the SPS 986 rover, you won't need a base station at all to perform your surveys. Now, as we mentioned at the top of this video, Trimble has also come up with a way to eliminate the need for you to hold that rover pole perfectly plumb in order to mark a spot. Having to hold that rover pole perfectly plumb has made it difficult to locate spots on the edges of buildings or in spots where your physical surroundings may interfere with the position of the rover. So Trimble has come up with a feature it calls Pro Point Tilt Compensation on the SPS 986. And basically this new feature allows you to hold the unit at an angle while still being able to locate those hard to reach points. Now, while we were at Con Expo 2020, we had a chance to spend some time with Casey Cyrus, a business area manager for Trimble. And he tells us that when you're using pro point tilt compensation, the system actually even lets you work in environments that have typically been harsh on GNSS signal, such as underneath a tree canopy. Tilt compensation allows me to take points without physically leveling the bubble. So I can, I can measure the corner of this stand by simply hitting the button here, moving over and pointing and hitting here. So as simple as point at what you want to measure and take a shot. Trimble says Centerpoint RTX is capable of converging to full accuracy in less than one minute in the United States and in less than 15 minutes in other parts of the world. Finally, the other big bonus with this SPS 986 and Centerpoint RTX surveying setup is that because the corrections are delivered via multiple satellites, you can map anywhere in the world, no matter how remote. So RTX is using the same frequencies that GPS uses. Uh, so the antenna is the same ray dome that's on top of the receiver. So instead of getting a correction stream from a radio antenna, it's coming straight through the same antenna that the satellites are broadcasting on. Plus, Trimble says in the infrequent situations where your signal is interrupted, you can continue working for up to 200 seconds without a delay. So that is going to wrap it up for us here on the Trimble SPS 986 and the Centerpoint RTX network of base stations. But we want to hear your thoughts. Be sure to leave us a comment below. And if you like this video or found the information in it useful in any kind of way, please do us a favor and hit the like button below. It really does help our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear and trucks, hit the subscribe button below and be sure to turn on notifications so that you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thanks again for watching you guys and we will see you next time.